I'm gonna be testing some of the most boring roadside attractions that I can find, with my only rule being that I need to find something interesting to say about each of them, but I can't lie. So I've made this map, and it has the three stops I'll be making on my trip, and the last one is actually a huge surprise for my girlfriend. Her name's Kelsey. So first up, we got Johnny Donut Seed. Yup, that's him. So this roadside attraction is just right in front of the highway at some random gas station. Uh, no, I was just, I was just taking some photos of the statue on me. Okay, thank you. Anyways, as I was saying, Johnny's in front of the highway and he's missing an arm and has mold all over his body and his dogs are out but we're gonna see what other people think of it. Roger C. from St. Augustine says, This is a quirky gas station and convenience store right off Interstate 10 in Lloyd, a small town 10 miles east of Tallahassee. There's a roadside statue outside called Johnny Donut Seat holding a donut. His other arm used to hold a cup of coffee but is missing. On my last visit, I wanted to buy the two local newspapers, but they wouldn't sell them. They said I had to put money in a can instead. I had no change. I'm not clear on why a place that sells stuff won't sell newspapers inside their store. I'll be writing a letter to Johnny Donut Seed about this. As you should, Roger. But I guess there's only one way to test this review, and that's to go inside the convenience store and buy two local newspapers. Do you guys, do you guys have local newspapers here? Do we have a local? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. She said boop. Yeah, I don't know why she said boop but that was the least of my worries because I thought I was about to walk away with no newspaper. But then I found some spare change in my car. It's also the first newspaper I've ever bought, which is pretty cool. So I did end up having to put my change in a tent, but it looks like Roger's review was valid. I'm also gonna have to be writing a letter to Johnny Appleseed. Sorry, John, Johnny Donut Seed, yeah. Anyways, time for my review. Saw Johnny Donut Seed. He made me put my money in a tin can. I got an interesting newspaper. Three stars. Anyways, next up we have the bridge to nowhere. I saw this little bird tornado thingy on the way there and I just thought it was interesting so I wanted to show you guys. Some say this place is haunted and others say that an evil witch used to live here and still lurks in the woods. But John Espo says he thinks Ed Norton used to work on this bridge. I highly doubt that John, but here's the bridge. So as you can see, there's a lot of graffiti like all over the place, so that's pretty cool. We do have a review from Jason Cyril saying, Love this spot. There are walking trails, Uber the bridge, and a small park to the one side that you can see from the bridge. Try to find the hole in the floor of the bridge, wink emoji. I hope there's not a hole in this bridge. But yeah, I'm gonna go see what's at the other side. Um, yeah, so there was nothing at the end of the bridge, so yeah. I did not see Ed Norton. The bridge went nowhere, and there was a fire under the bridge. Five stars. Okay, so we're actually running out of time to visit all these attractions, and I'll see you guys there. So this last roadside attraction is just actually some guy's house because I'm buying my girlfriend's birthday present. But the drive was really nice. It was peaceful, you know. guys so we made it to Gainesville we are about five minutes away from this guy's house um, so yeah we're gonna check out the present that I got for Kelsey make sure everything works and that it's good to go and then and we'll buy it so yeah see y'all in a minute maybe see y'all soon I'll see y'all soon so this is a pretty sketchy transaction that I had with this guy and I'm basically waiting outside my car for the deal to go down and I waited like 30 minutes and then he came out and he came up to me and he was like rah and then he attacked me and then we had a big fight and a pack of dogs came out of nowhere and then the dogs started helping me and they were biting them and biting him and the dogs they took him into the sky and they left us behind and then the thing I was trying to buy for Kelsey I grabbed it and I was gonna take it but then you know the dogs didn't want me to steal it because the dogs were like woof so I left the money there for the dogs, and you might be wondering, why did I drive all that way just to get a present for Kelsey? Well, I guess you're gonna have to wait until one of my videos in February to find out, because I am not gonna share that with the internet. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That way I don't owe my friend $1,500 at the end of the year. And yeah, I guess there's only one thing left to do.